Hey guys, this is Matt from Upsilon Mining, and this is a, another video on this 12 GPU 1660 Ti rig um, that I kind of have a 3080 on right now. But what I did was I took all those 30, uh, sorry, I took all those 1660 Ti's out of the uh, server case because I was having issues with the A2000s getting a little bit hot. So I put all the A2000s inside the server case and I pulled all the 1660s out so i have one here and i got a few more downstairs i'll be filling out this entire rig with 1660 ti's uh, taking the 3080 ti i'm not sure where i'm going to put that just yet uh, but today's video will be um basically just uh me completing this rig and then talking quickly about um some issues i was having with my a2000 rig so um stay tuned and we will talk about that in a second Yo, okay guys, here we go. We have the entire rig filled in with 12 1660 Ti's. If you guys don't know, this is a BTC 250 motherboard, the, the knockoff China board that I got uh, off of Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. So this was kind of a, a good steal of a deal. Um, the rig itself, the frame, I mean, was actually purchased off of Amazon. This is a standard 12 GPU um, frame. Um, all the risers are actually Amazon risers. Never had a problem with them, so I'll keep, I'll keep recommending them as long as the, I haven't had a problem. As soon as I have a problem or issue with them, then I will let you guys know, obviously. Uh, we're using a breakout board. Um, this is just a, yeah, this is actually a yeah, just a standard breaker board off of Amazon and, and a 1200 watt HP power supply that I got off of eBay from a c company in Houston, Texas. I think it is they sell all these power supplies. And we are powering 12 of the GPUs off of that in conjunction with a 750 watt thermal take ATX power supply. So we have basically the ATX power supply in the back here, as well as the server power supply. And we're splitting the load between those two devices to power all of these cards, which are pretty, um, they're pretty uh, low demand. They're pretty low demanding when it comes to power, right? So each one would only use maybe about 75 to 80 watts. And this is a 1200, power, uh, 1200 watt power supply and I got two of them powered off of this one. So that's 10 times 80, 800 with the 20% rule, we're pretty good on that. And we can even run this off 120 volt, which is fine. Uh, which I'm not sure if you guys know, know, but actually if you run a lot of these power supplies off of 240 volt, you'll actually be able to get a more maximum wattage versus 120 volts. So I think there's actually the power rating. I'm not sure what it says there, but um, the power ratings on this 1200 watt power supply are higher for the 240 volt versus the 120 volt. If you guys know off the top of your head, go ahead and comment below. If not, as I'm editing this video, I'll see if I can add the actual details in. So everything's been wired up. Um, I'm gonna try to do some wire maintenance a little bit on these wires because they're getting a little bit unruly, especially under here in the bottom. So I'm gonna tie these guys up and I'm gonna fire up in Hive OS and then we will talk a little bit more. See you there. Okay guys, so when I first booted this uh, bad boy up, what happened was I was only detecting about 11 of the GPUs. Now why was that happening? I'm not sure, but I'll explain what I found. I wasn't sure, but now I know. Anyway, so what I did was I needed to find out which one was the culprit on the, on the rig itself. So what I did was I set every single fan to one, okay? When you set every single fan to one, what, you end up hap what ends up happening is you get a fan um, that basically stops and goes. Like it can't stop completely, but it'll stop. Okay, if you take a look at that fan, okay, it'll stop and then go. So these are all set to one in Hive OS. Same here. I think there we go. That one's fired up again. That one will start up again in just a second. That's one percent. Okay. Now what I did was I went through the entire rig and I found the one CPU that wasn't stopping and going, and that was. This one here, actually, um, right here, okay? Now I just kind of followed the, the red data wire, wire down and followed it right down to this guy here, okay? Now what I did was, I wasn't sure what it was. Um, I wasn't sure if it was the riser issue or there's something with the motherboard. So the first thing I did was I literally pulled out this old piece here 
okay? I took that bad boy out and I replaced it with a new one and then I reseated it at the bottom and it seemed to have worked great. Um, now, this is probably a situation where it would have been nice to have the nice GPU riser light up uh, pieces. So I'm gonna say that uh, that is a cool feature. Um, and another reason to get more expensive GPU risers. Now I'm still, I know I kind of feel like one day I'm like talking with, get the Amazon ones, one day get the GPU riser ones or whatever the ones which, actually I haven't, I haven't promoted higher end uh, GPU risers just because I haven't had a lot of problems. So I was able to locate the, the actual issue and replace the, the piece here that goes into the motherboard. Now another thing to be very cognizant of is if you have a lot of wires going on, like exposed wires or fan controllers, please uh, find a way to insulate these or any exposed 12 volt lines that are around here, which there shouldn't be. Um, I actually had a GPU go out because of that issue. So make sure that uh, nothing is going to go, come in contact with here. Because even if 12 volt even touches the, and shorts out on the GPU, on the, sorry, on the USB connection here, that can actually fry a GPU and it won't be detected anymore. So that's something um, that I learned and you can actually learn from my mistakes as well. So uh, in short, that's how you go about and uh, set up or locate a fan on a rig. So there we go, there's the, the rig fired up, running great so far. And we're gonna go on over into Hive OS and fire this guy up. See you right there in a second. All right guys, here we are back on Hive OS and let's take a look at what we have. So we have all 11, sorry, all 12 GPUs, 1660 Ti set up. You'll notice that I have two with Micron memory and the rest with Samsung memory. And the overclocks are slightly different. The micro memory can't handle um, the high memory clock values uh, like the Samsung memory can. So if you do get a card with Samsung memory, that remember that is probably what, like winning almost like the lottery with, with the GPUs, because you never know which is gonna come in the box. So what I did was I just fired up the flight sheet and we have these overclock sets. So we're running at 73 power limit on the card, 4150 on the memory. Uh, for the Samsung memory and for the micro memory, we're running at 100 on the core and 1250 on the memory with a 70. Actually, that could be higher. So we're going to up that. I know I found that micro memory, we need a little bit more watts. Now, I don't know if these are actually perfect, probably not even close to being perfect overclocks. But if you guys have some better overclocks uh, for me, and keep in mind the memory type as well, right? So your overclocks are only going to be um, useful if you have the proper memory matched up to the card and the overclock. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna adjust all these. I want on all Samsung, we're gonna hit 73 because I found with 73 watts, we can hit um, a good uh, hash rate of around 32 mega hash per second. So as you can see, it's coming up speed here. And we're gonna see what happens. You can hear the server power supply wearing up in the background right now. And we are a total of 896 watts split across a 1200 watt HP power supply and a 750 watt um, uh, ATX power supply, which is powering the main board, as well as two of the GPUs and the accessories like the hard drive, things like that. So it's a pretty good setup to split up one, split up your rig with uh, a server power supply and an ATX power supply. Uh, usually ends up being a good combo. So let's take a look here and see what our overclocks are doing. So we are coming up at 378 mega hash for this entire rig. This is a 12 GPU rig. I've always wanted a 12 GPU rig, guys. Um, I just thought it would be so cool to build one. And um, just because it's just massive reuse of the same motherboard and hard drive and base rig hardware, and you get all that, all the GPUs on a single motherboard, and you're actually saving money a little bit, a little money. You're saving power a little bit that way too, because the main board itself and everything else uses about between 100 and 120 watts uh, and uh, on top of the GPUs, right? So if you have a single motherboard powering 12 versus just say six or eight, you might need to get two motherboards. So you're saving 120, at least 120 watts when you stack up 12 GPUs at once here. Now we're gonna take a look here. The temps are a little bit, um, seems to be a little bit high on here. So we'll just see what happens in a second. So yeah, 
anyways, guys, it seems to be okay. I'm not sure what's going on these, with these temps right now. Could be the fans. Oh, the fans. God damn it. Okay, fans. Let's put the fans to 100. Just... <laughs> Alright, that's not good. Do you see the temperatures? Oh, my God. Okay, so turn auto fan on. I like auto fan. Set the core temperature 55. We had the fans way too low. And that's why the cards are getting hot. Rookie mistake. Totally. I know. Okay, I was, why, I was looking at these fans. I'm like, are these temperatures? I'm like, why are the temps getting so high? I'm like, get your... Fans aren't on, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I actually, I'm going to set um, just 50 in here. And then we'll put auto fan on. I like using auto fan. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. So we're going to set 50 in the overclocks. And we'll set an auto fan here of a target core of 55. So that'll basically handle it on automatic automatically for us based off the temperature um, versus having it run at 100% all the time. It might not be necessary. So yeah, I like to aim a little bit lower on the overclock fan speeds and use an auto fan capabilities to kind of actually get the temperatures in line because what we're aiming for is not really fan speed. What we're aiming to do is get a specific temperature on each GPU. So these are doing pretty good, 28, 29 on the microns. These can probably come up a little bit. Um, I know some of these are pretty uh, sensitive with regard to the overclock, so I'm gonna just tread lightly. So it's only really these two that need to be adjusted just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna try to just adjust this guy to 1275 and see if we can bring him up to speed a little bit. So he's at 28.63. He's the lowest of the bunch. Okay, give me a second. I'll be right back, guys. I am just going to modify these overclocks and then I'll be back with the optimal settings. All right, guys, I got it fairly close, but what's happening now is when I set this card here to 2000 and above, it's just crashing. I think the threshold in this guy is about 1475 which gets almost only around 29 mega hash. It looks like it's an issue of one of those, or a case of one of those silicon lottery unluck. So the rest of the cards get around 32 to 31 mega hash. Let me just restart the rig and I'll be right back in just one moment. All right guys, so here we go. We're, we've finally rebooted it now and we are around 381.6 mega hash on Ethereum with these 12, 16, 60 TIs. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this guy here, it's an issue of Silicon Lottery. It cannot stand any overclock above 12, sorry, 1475. If I start pushing it past 15, it will actually crash and not uh, boot up properly, regardless of the power limit I set. So it's kind of like one of those bad eggs, um, bad apples in the basket. So anyways, you, you, will, you guys will run into that. If you are building rigs with a lot of different GPUs, you'll find some are more of, a, more of the champions, and there's all the, always the special few that are kind of lagging behind, you know, um, as hobbyist miner likes to call them problems. Childs, I definitely have my my set of problem childs on my uh, on my farm. Anyways, guys, this is a pretty cool build. Um, hope the video editing is okay. I'm sort of an amateur when it comes to video uh, video editing, so I'm doing my best to kind of build captivating videos and get good shots of the rigs themselves, um, and try not to drive myself crazy with the tedious nature of trying to get a gazillion camera shots and set up the camera on the stand and everything. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear about your situation. If you guys found um, uh, this video helpful, uh, please do comment below. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the motherboard is a BTC B250, um, which is a kind of a cheapo uh, China brand of the uh, BTC 110 board, I think it is, or the BTC two, um, 250 board which is a uh, more of the name brand version so this is kind of like the the chinese version uh, alibaba special and it seems to be working just fine with no issues at all um so anyways guys yeah don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and i will see you in the next one bye
Thank you.